Hey, welcome to Magpie Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is a tarot deck unboxing slash walkthrough, card by card view, whatever you want to call it, review of the Heroine Tarot. Um, I backed this on Kickstarter, so it came with this gorgeous pin. Anybody who knows me knows how much I love a pin badge. My pin badge holder is actually full, so I need to make a new one. There's this gorgeous hand design like that because this drop's supposed to be dropping off the end of it it's absolutely stunning so yeah that's the free pin as i said this was a kickstarter that i backed it turned up last week i think so i've just been waiting for the other half to take the kids out there's this gorgeous design i'm guessing high priestess with the pomegranate but i could be wrong so then it's got the heroine tarot and then it's obviously a note from Gina and then it's the heroinetarot.com. I believe the site is going live this week so if you wanted to have a look at that you by all means you can. Right let's take this out of the bubble wrap. This literally came out the parcel and straight to the tape to the shelf waiting to be done to be videoed so I haven't even had a look at it but I've been itching to get my hands on it. There we go. Sorry, that just banged the whole table. It's quite hefty, obviously. I love that front cover. Right, let's get the plastic off. It is shrink-wrapped, so I'm trying to find a place where I'm going to be able to get this off without scratching the box. There we go. So it was plastic-wrapped. Oh, and it's actually quite shiny, the box. It's quite glossy. It's very glossy. So we've got the front, the heroine tarot. And then we've got on the side, the top, the other side, and bottom. And then on the back, the Herring Tower is an original 78 card deck, which re-envisions the imagery of the classic divination tool through a more mod modern, female-centric and fashion-forward lens. The colourful hand-illustrated deck created by illustrator Gina Chipacasa. Chiapacasa. I'm really sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Um, also includes a guidebook for your, for use in your pursuit of inner wisdom and guidance. I love this image with the crystal ball. Let's have a look. It's first edition, so they're clearly. Oh my God! Hang on. Before I do that, the inside the lid's white inside, but the sides. Look at that. That is incredible. There's a lot of diversity in this deck and I'm so glad because the amount of decks I've looked at lately that are really not inclusive. So we've got, this is the guidebook, the Heron Tarot. A diverse female-centric deck showing women as we see them, bold, beautiful and empowered. Then it's got the Major Arcana. And it goes through them. So we have Zero the Fool and an explanation of it. So it goes, and then the magician, all the way through, obviously, to the world. And then the minor arcana of the wands, explains the wand suit, and then each of the cards gets their description. And then it goes into cups. I love that. All the way through. Swords, all the way through. And then pentacles. All the way through and then on the back it's got tar the heroine tarot is a love letter to women and is dedicated to the amazing women that i'm fortunate enough to have in my life a special thank you to the people who helped make this project a reality nicole murta andy bose Bo bose i'm assuming jesse Kristen, jenna kyle and anna feldman i'll pop that back in the lid of the box and then it's done so this is the actual deck look at that holographic I cannot wait, I cannot wait. Right, let's get this plastic off. There you go. It's just managing to get the plastic in, the scissors in without scratching anything. Okay. Plastic shrink wrap. This holographic silver is just wow. Just wow. 
a little bit dusty but that's where it's been cut just wow it's slightly wider than it's more oracle card size than tarot size but that's i don't mind because i've got big hands so compared to my hand they're a decent size it's the width more than anything they're wider that design on the back the sun and the moon so obviously sun that way up moon that way up i'm guessing the moon's on top because it's more feminine energy so let's have a look at these cards one by one so we have the fool the magician this artwork is stunning the high priestess the empress The Emperor, I love that. Very Marlena Daytrick. The Hierophant. The Lovers, that's stunning. I'm actually considering getting the print of that at the moment. But as I'm not in the US, the shipping's a lot for me to get over to here in the UK. The Chariot, which is my card. She has a crown of stars. I don't know if you can see that, a crown of stars. Stunning. Very like the Empress with the intuitive between the realms. Um, strength. Hermit. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Woman. Death. Temperance. The Devil. The Tower, the Star, the Moon, the Sun, Judgment, I love that there's a dove on that, the World, and then we go into the Swords, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords, the Three of Swords, that's stunning. Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Six, the Seven, that outfit's amazing, the Eight of Swords, the Nine, the Ten, the Page, the Knight of Swords, the Queen, the King, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Three, the Four, the Five, the Six, the Seven, Eight, I love that, oh, Nine, Ten, Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Pentacles. And then we go on to Cups. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three. There's a mark on that there. Oh, that's gone off. It's fine. The Four. There's a mark on that one. Sorry, it's just a bit of dry ink, I think. Um, so the four, the five, the six, I love that. The seven, oh, I love that. It's one of my favourite cards in the whole deck. The eight, the nine, the ten of cups, the page, the knight, the queen, Looking like she's in a pond in Kew Gardens. The King of Cups. And then the Ace of Wands. The Two of Wands. Three of Wands. The Four. The Five. Six of Wands. And that has got a line on it. Smeared line. What is that? It's just like a misprint. 
Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Ten, the Page, the Knight, the Queen, Seventy Chic, love it, and the King of Wands. Absolutely stunning. See how they shuffle. They shuffle beautifully. There's no sticking. They just flow. There's just... And for how big the deck is, it isn't actually that heavy of a deck. I know it thudded the table with the box and everything, but for the size of it, it's not that heavy. Let's see how the cards are thin. They're nice and thin. Springy. I don't think they'd bend. I mean, obviously not going to try. They're quite bendy, but... They go back pretty straight again, so. But then why would you be bending them quite like that? Who knows? Everybody does different things with their tarot decks. There's so many uses for them. So, yeah. Beautiful. I'm so lucky to have this. It's like a, it is a work of art. It's like a fashion design deck it reminds me of my textiles when i studied textiles at school i'm trying to emanate this style of artwork for my textiles design course and i got an a but i can't i don't have this art skills to do that i'm jealous of anyone that can draw i'm trying it's just it's not innate within me Queen of Swords. Absolutely stunning deck. Beautiful. I would highly recommend getting them. There's a calm energy about them. Um, very calm energy about them. Just like they kind of want to tell you something. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play with them. I really can't wait to play with this deck and get that pin on my on my pin holder. Um, but yeah, so that is the Heroin Tarot. I highly recommend getting it. It's a beautiful deck. It's so calm and it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Anyway, I hope that's shown you everything you want to know about it. If there's anything else you want to know, by all means, message me down below and I will try and get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.